What's up guys, this is Nurse Howie, and I'm almost done with my residency. I finished my second to the last shift, and then I'm going to move on to do my externship over to ICU. I had a great time in MedSearch. I learned a lot of things, including time management, dealing with staff, and dealing with people as well. And I think that I'm going to be able to take all that skill that I learned from MedSearch and take it to the ICU. And I hope that this will help me in the long run throughout my career as a nurse. And I hope you stay with me. This is a great adventure. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. On to the next thing. So the other day, I finished my residency with my you know, internal medicine med search unit, and uh, I'm gonna miss those guys. I honestly thought that I wasn't gonna enjoy it, but it was more challenging than I thought it would be because I thought med search was just basic nursing, but actually, med search is the meat of nursing because they see so many different conditions and you know of different patients and different treatments that need to be done. I hung a lot of IVs, uh, so I learned really well how to hang an IV piggyback and also do a lot of other nursing procedures such as Foley catheters, IVs, blood draws, and uh, this isn't as exciting as most of the acute care nurses, but I loved it, you know? After a while, I mean, it was hard work. I literally didn't sit down to chart until like around two o'clock. I mean, I would do all my medication to see all my patients right away and, you know, do the vital signs, flow sheets, give, administer my medications, and then do my quick assessments and chart the beginning of that stuff. But I didn't finish all my charting uh, until around the early afternoon. Uh, then the shift would be a lot more chill, but it was a very busy ward and I learned a lot. And I think it really helped me with taking the Kaplan because, or sorry, the, yeah, the, the um, nurse NCLEX predictor test. So I came in today, I did the predictor test, and I passed! Whoa! <laughs> I'm really happy. Um, it's not a big deal, but to me it is because it is a predictor, te uh, predictor test to see how well I will do on the, N the actual real NCLEX. And if people don't pass it, not a big deal. They'll just have to remediate a week to a few weeks afterwards. But at least I don't have to worry about that. It shows that I haven't been slacking on my test taking skills and I've been taking tests over and over and over and doing all the questions repeat back to back. Um, and also remediating myself, seeing what questions I repeatedly get wrong so I can reassess my knowledge on that and fill the knowledge deficit. So I'm really happy to pass the predictor test and I'm ready to start my new externship orientation to specialize in the ICU and then also to get ready to graduate for the BSN and then take the pinning ceremony and then take the NCLEX, hopefully get a job real soon and then go back to get my master's uh, as a nurse practitioner. So hang with me and uh, I hope you enjoy my little adventure. I hope you're successful as well in your program and in your aspirations. And I hope that you, you know, communicate with me so I don't feel like I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> and I appreciate uh, you listening and watching this video. So I'll see you soon. Bye. All right. I'm leaving my first official hospital residency this hospital say goodbye to everybody I'm gonna miss it here it was hard 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 work but it was fun and I learned a lot good night everybody on to the next thing